Welcome back to Under Par Acres. It is officially the fall season and the colors at the farm are starting to pop. This is by far our favorite time of the year and over the course of the next week or two, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And what's making things even better this season is that we are down to the final weeks before we're able to move into our house. We've got countertops being installed next week, followed by the final finishing of the floors, and then we should be able to start moving our stuff in as they finish it all up. The majority of the farm is extremely flat, and of all the trails we have, none of them have any slope to them. And the only area that we have that has some slope on it is our driveway. The entire area behind the house is a pretty solid hill that would be really good for riding bikes and for hiking on. And the first time we get a good snow out here, the driveway will be a great spot to go sledding down. But when you get about 30 yards down the driveway, right before our tee box, if you turn to the right, there's an area that looks like it maybe used to be a trail cut into the woods. So I took the tractor and the bush hog through this area and was going to mow as far as I could go to see if I could get this trail to come all the way out at the bottom of the hill right in front of the back of the house. And other than a little bit of overgrowth that needed to be cut down with the bush hog and a little bit of pruning to be done with our pole saw, this really was a pretty solid natural trail and we were going to clean it up and make it usable. And after about 30 minutes of work, we had this thing fully restored and ready to go. And the only thing we had to do was clean up at the bottom of the hill where you come out to the house. So I got out the pole saw, added the extension to make it about nine feet long and started pruning some of the branches. A couple of the branches, however, were a little bit too high and I couldn't get any leverage on them and I also had a weak blade, so I had to get a little creative on how I get these down. I switched out the saw attachment for the hedge clipper attachment so I could do a little bit of cleanup work, but mainly I wanted to trim around the edges of these two trees as this is the spot I intend to hang our hammock. This should be the perfect spot to hang a hammock for in the spring and in the fall, and it sits just off the side of the fire pit area, but I do think we should keep the porta potty when the house is finished being built as it really adds to the scenery. The next day I came out, I took the bush hog off the tractor and I added the box blade and I was just going to go over the trail a couple more times to smooth it out. Once we were done, the trail was looking great. We had a nice solid downhill slope that the kids could come ripping down on their bikes and they could go around the house and either ride laps around the field or go ride all the trails we've got cut throughout the woods. I also cut a trail the other week all the way around the perimeter of our large field where the driving range is being built. And it's the perfect length of track because one lap around the entire field would equal out to half of a mile. And with Wilson starting to get heavily into cross country, it gives him the perfect place that he can train for his meets and run as long as he can handle. Right 
And I'm proud to say that after filming this, he ran in his first ever cross country meets and he finished fifth out of 37 and fourth out of 60 to make all of the hard work worth it. And as for the driving range build, I haven't got nearly as much done as I intended to by this time of year. However, I have started to stop and just use it from time to time and it's really been enjoyable and I cannot wait till the spring when we get this thing ready to go. Thanks everybody for watching and we will see you soon.